Hey, it's Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California, here today to give you some tips and tricks on how to do the pose that we're doing for the hashtag Yogi's Save a Child Heart Challenge on Instagram. For those of you who are not familiar, this is a fundraising challenge wherein I am donating for everybody who poses for this cause. Save a Child's Heart is an organization in Israel that does life-saving heart surgeries for any child in need. A large percentage of the kids that they save their lives come from territories and areas of the world that consider themselves to be enemies of Israel, such as the Gaza Strip, Syria, and the Palestinian territories. Save a Child's Heart brings all these children in and does more than save hearts. They save lives and they save worlds. So I hope you'll join me in this incredible fundraiser. I've already got four people who are matching my funds, which bumps us over the goal of $1,000 raised. I'm hoping we can raise so much more. Let's raise the roof. Meantime, here are the tips and tricks, and I'm gonna save the best trick for the very end. So please hold on to your hats and glasses. I'm assuming you're already warmed up. This is a leg behind the head pose. I'm gonna give you some leg behind the head tricks and then some variations. And all variations and modifications are 100% welcome in this challenge because I don't care about the pose, I care about the heart that people bring to it. So, I recommend picking your more open side. For me, it's my left side. So, I will be taking my left leg today. I know it might look like I'm against the wall, but believe me, I'm not even within a couple feet of the wall. Um, but if this is a super hard pose for you, lean right up against the wall and it certainly will make it easier. Grab the outside of your foot and what you want to do is squish your shoulder as far beneath your knee as possible. Okay? It's super important that you get to the shoulder. You can't really do this at the elbow, although you can do any modification at the elbow. How do we get our shoulder in? You're going to have to squish down, okay? So I know that a lot of people are reluctant to round their spines because we don't typically do that very often in yoga, but if your leg, if your arm, if your spine is straight, your knee will not be high enough to get to your shoulder. That's why you need to squish down, unless you have an incredibly long femur, then maybe you don't have to squish. Okay, once you have the shoulder way in, remember that the foot, in order to get behind your head, has to be on that side of your head, not this side of the head where it is right now. So it helps if you pull it across your chest, <laughs> like a roller coaster seat belt. <laughs> Although this would probably choke me if it were a roller coaster seat belt, but you know what I mean. Okay, this puts me right in the position to get my leg over my head because it's already in that parallel line. Holding on with my left hand, I hoist, I'm sorry, holding on with my right hand, I hoist with my left hand and making sure that there's no space between your knee and your shoulder here. If you've got space like this, that's lost space. Why? Because now my foot is in the middle of my face instead of on the side of my face. So squishing that shoulder over ensures that your leg is as far over as possible so that it will come out on this side of my head, not on the back of my head and not over there. So from here, it's not just about my leg. I'll take my head and sort of duck it under like I'm playing peekaboo. So it's leg up, hello, which would be a great modification too, by the way. So leg up, peek under, then squish your head under your foot, okay? Maybe you stop here and you make a little foot crown. Again, all modifications are welcome, but 
once again, I take my shoulder and then I pull my foot back behind me and into the crook of my neck. So let me show you where I am here. I'll show you from the back and then I'll show you from the side. Um, I'm below the nook of the cranium, right? The occipital ridge. Why is that important? Because it creates sort of a lock. If I'm above the rock part, I'm gonna fly out of it, okay? So I wanna be where, so the occipital ridge is right here where the head sort of, skull sort of pops out for the last moment. I take it below there and push my head backwards, okay, to keep it in place. Now, the good news is, let's say you can't keep it in place without your hands. You don't need to. Because for this pose, we're going to be holding on to your foot. So, knee to shoulder, roller coaster seatbelt on, peekaboo. Now, when you take it over, you see my foot is well on the other side. I take this right elbow and hook it on my foot. Okay, my hand is just on my leg. My goal here is to create sort of a parallel line with this bottom leg. So I recommend first just lift up and find your balance. If balance is hard, I'm going to give you the balance trick at the end. I take my elbow, hook my foot, and hug. Now when I'm shooting pictures, I do stuff like this to try to make sure I get a good line. But because I'm using my front camera, I can pretty much see I got a good line. Okay, you come out the way you came in. I don't know why I'm so good at butt balances. It could be because I have a really flat butt. Um, I know that's not a good thing in 2021, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna give you the biggest trick for this and for all butt balances. You ready for it? It's called a meditation cushion. And I'm not going to go off screen now. If you sit on the meditation cushion, what it does is it gives you sort of like a, um, like a dent to sit into. So that balance, if you squish yourself in, becomes not only easier, but a lot more comfortable. Especially for those of you who have bony tailbones. I hope you'll join me on the hashtag Yogi's Save a Child's Heart Challenge on Instagram. Just look for the picture of me doing this pose in this outfit and all the rules are in there. Let's talk about a few quick modifications, although you can do anything you want. Maybe you do something like a half lotus, okay? I also gave another modification on my page and also you'll see if you go to the hashtag, lots of different modifications. Okay, maybe you do one leg up and one leg sideways. I'm just making these up as I go along. <laughs> okay, maybe you do one leg in, and one leg down. Oh, oh. <laughs> but here's the mandatory part. Put your heart into it. We're gonna have a great time and we're gonna see how much money we can raise to save children's hearts all across the globe. This is Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California. Wishing you an awesome day.